Welcome to Paris, France and the Paris Airport, otherwise known as the Charles de Gaulle Airport. This video will provide information about how to get from the Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport to Paris City Center using the taxi, RER and bus options. This video will provide information, maps, prices, etc. If you have any questions that I have not answered in the video, Please put them in the comments section. I'll get right back to you. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Paris, France and the Charles de Gaulle Airport. Charles de Gaulle Airport is the main airport in Paris, France. This video, we're going to get right into it right now. How do you get from the airport to Paris City Center? This video will provide three options on how to go from Charles de Gaulle Airport to Paris City Center and in this order. Number one will be taxi, number two will be the train or the RER, and number three will be the bus option. Now, how do you get from Charles de Gaulle Airport to city center by taxi? Taking a taxi from Charles de Gaulle Airport to the city center of Paris is definitely the quickest and most convenient transfer option. Taxis are readily available outside of all three terminals and it will take you only 45 minutes to reach the city center. Firstly, we're going to talk about how much the taxis cost from the airport to various places in Paris City Center. Secondly, we will talk about the locations that you will catch the taxis at the airport. Thirdly, we will talk about certain tips and, and little insights, provide reasons why taxis are probably the best reason in order to go from the airport in Paris to Paris City Center. Here is a slide that outlines the taxi costs from the airport to various places in Paris City Center. Now I'm gonna circle this section right here. This is the most up-to-date prices we have and they will probably change in the next couple years, but as of right now, these are the most up-to-date prices. I have circled the 55 euro price tag there and that takes you to the right bank. The right bank is anything north of the Seine River and there's a number of tourist attractions in the right bank. I'm gonna circle them right here. We've got the Arc de Triomphe, which is just at the end of the Champs-Elysees. You have the Louvre, which is that pyramid. You also have Notre Dame. I have circled the 62 euro price tag, which is the left bank, which is south of the Seine River and is farther away from the Paris airport than the right bank. And I'm gonna circle this section right here. That is the Eiffel Tower. That is the main tourist attraction on the left bank of Paris. Next, I have circled the 80 to 95 euro price tag and that will get you to the Palace of Versailles. The Palace of Versailles is kind of southwest of the Paris city center. And keep in mind that the airport in Paris is in basically the northeast section of Paris. So this might be the farthest trip you would have to take on a cab and hence the most expensive. Next, I have circled the 75 to 85 euro price tag, and this is for the other airport in Paris, the Paris Orly Airport. You might be arriving in the Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris and have to switch airports. Hence, you would get a cab and it would cost you 75 to 85 euros to get to the other airport in Paris to catch another flight that's taking you somewhere else. And finally, another important destination in Paris is the Disneyland Paris, looking at 75 to 95 euros. I've circled this little section at the bottom here. We've got flat rate and estimation. The flat rate are the one in the orange and they are for anything really in the Paris city center. The blue are estimations for the Disneyland Paris, Versailles, uh, defense, etc. And these are probably a little bit more dependent on traffic. Next, we're gonna talk about location of the taxi ranks. Where are the taxis? You're gonna get your baggage and hopefully as quickly as possible, you wanna to get to an exit and you wanna get access to a taxi. I've got all the information here, depending what terminal you've come in on. Maybe you wanna take a screenshot of this, pop it on your phone so that when you do get your luggage, you know exactly where to go, depending on what terminal you're coming into in the Paris airport. I'll also say once you get your baggage, within seconds you will see a sign that says taxi and you will just follow the signs in order to get to the closest taxi stand. Here is a little slide with a little bit of information to guarantee you a safe trip at a fair price. We recommend that you always take an official taxi outside our terminals 
only taxis located in stations located at the gates of the arrival levels are authorized to pick up customers. Here is a map of the Paris airport. There are three terminals. I have circled terminal one here, and this slide right here gives you the information about what airlines are coming into terminal one. Here is a slide. I have circled terminal two. Terminal two is huge. And then here is a slide about what airlines are coming into each of terminal two stops. And lastly, here is a slide. I have circled terminal three. And here are the airlines that are coming in to terminal three. Okay, now this section of the video is gonna talk about little tips and insights and reasons why you wanna take a taxi from the airport in Paris down into Paris city center. Uh, you wanna take a taxi because Paris airport taxis are always on tap just outside the baggage claims areas. You don't have to go too far. You don't have to look too hard. They'll be there and they'll be ready for you because they charge a flat rate to Paris City Center. We talked about that in some of the previous slides, and thus you get to know the exact cost of your ride in advance. Also because even though Paris public transportation is efficient, public airport taxis offer exclusive door-to-door -door services. If you were to get on the RER train or a bus from the airport, that's not necessarily gonna take you to your hotel. It's gonna take you to a station then in downtown Paris, and then you're going to have to find still a way to get from that station to your hotel, which might require another metro, another bus, etc. Also because your driver will have put the luggage in the vehicle trunk and you won't have to drag them around during your transfer. Also because in that way your personal items are safe, there's no risk of pickpocketing. Paris has a horrible reputation of pickpockets on public transit. I can talk about that personally but maybe in another video. Also because it's the most convenient option available. But even more so if traveling with children or arriving after a long and tiring flight, you want ease, you want convenience, you're going to be tired, especially the red eyes that are coming from North America. You're going to take off probably late at night. You're going to be arriving early in the morning in Paris and in Europe with those red eyes. As a result, you're going to be tired, especially if you don't sleep well on the plane. Also, besides being convenient, they are comfortable too. There's no need to be squeezed in any overcrowded buses or trains. We're gonna head out the doors here and get into our taxi. Taxi, in conclusion, most expensive, but most convenient. This video will deal with the train option from the airport to city center, and the train is called the RER. It's a regional express network, or it refers to a rapid transit system that serves Paris and surrounding suburbs. The RER is not the metro, it's a different type of train, and it will take you from the airport into the city center. Here's some information on the RERs. Where do the RER trains and lines go? The RER's five high-speed lines shuttle thousands of commuters and tourists every day to nearby destinations including La Defense Business District, the Chateau de Versailles, and Disneyland Paris. They're a great option for day trips in close reach to Paris. Additionally, this is where we come in. The RER Line B serves Paris's two main airports, Charles de Gaulle, and that's one we're at and we're coming from, around an hour north and Orly, about 30 minutes south of the city center. Let's talk about tickets and cost. The single journey ticket from Charles de Gaulle Airport to Paris city center costs 11.45 euros. It allows connection between Metro and RER in central Paris. That means you will buy this ticket for the RER that's gonna take you from the airport down into Paris city center you can then still use the same ticket to get on the metro. The RER has a number of stops in Paris, but if your hotel or where you're going is somewhere other than one of those stops, you can still use that ticket on the metro system, the subway system, to get to where you have to get to. Number one, we know the price of the RER tickets from the airport to city center. Now, where do you get the tickets? You can buy tickets at Metro and RER railway station ticket offices, which are manned ticket offices. The offices at Charles de Gaulle Airport have helpful English speaking attendants used to overseas travelers and who are remarkably patient. 
Here is a diagram pointing out the different ways to get from Charles de Gaulle Airport into the city center. We've got the Rossi bus there, which is a bus. Then we have this section right here that I'm circling. That's the RERB, and that's what we're talking about right now, the RER. So we can catch it right from the Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, and we're gonna follow it. I'm gonna circle these spots right here. Now this RER is gonna come down to the Gare du Nord. That is the North train station. It is the biggest train station in Europe. And there's a stop at this Gare du Nord. Because if you were getting on a train that was going either to Amsterdam or a different part of France or Europe, it's so fast because you can get off your flight, get on the RER, go to the biggest train station in Paris, in Europe, and then go from there if you have to get a train to somewhere else in Europe. The next stop is the Châtelet. This is the largest uh, metro stop in Paris. So if you have to get to a hotel, Airbnb, or somewhere for work, or a site that you want to get to, it has the most metro stops or metro lines going through this RER station here. So you can get on any one of the metro stops and go anywhere in Paris very quickly. The next stop is called Saint-Michel and that's where the Notre Dame Cathedral is. Now this is where I'm going today. I'm gonna to be getting off at Notre Dame because my hotel is right beside this stop. So let's just think about it. For ease, you get into the uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport, you get on the RER. Now if you're going to a hotel, it's probably easiest if your hotel is very close to a stop on the RERB line. My hotel, is about 300 meters from the RERB line, Saint Michel, Notre Dame stop. We just got off the flight. I think it's 35 minutes to get down to this Notre Dame stop. I'm gonna walk out. I have roughly two to 300 meters before I get to my hotel. It's gonna be very quick from the airport to my hotel. So you might wanna think about proximity of your hotel to one of these RERB line stops. Now you have two places in the Charles de Gaulle airport that you can catch the RERB line. One is near Terminal 3 and the other one is in Terminal 2. We arrived in Terminal 3, but we got on the CDG VAL. I'm just gonna circle that right there on the map and that is a little train shuttle that takes you from each of the terminals if you have to change terminals for some reason. Here we are in Terminal 2 at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France. There is the ticket office. We already have our tickets. They cost 11.45 euros. And uh, these are tickets for Paris and the Ile de Paris. And we are going to go and look for the RERB line. It's track 11 and 12. And we're gonna head there and we're gonna scan our tickets and get on the train. You see people over at those machines getting their tickets. You also see in the ticket office, it's pretty busy. My advice is if you have any questions, if you're unsure of anything, I would get in line and I would go and I would talk to a person. These people have heard it all before. They've got great advice, simple advice, quick advice. They probably can anticipate the questions you're gonna ask. But um, if you need some help and you want some verification, clarification, go in and talk to a person in the ticket office. So we have just scanned our tickets. They worked. We're happy. We're going to head through here down an escalator. We're on tracks 11 and 12. So you're, you're looking for tracks 11 and 12 if you're looking for the Line B RER into Paris. We will go down the escalator. We will get on the RER train that's gonna go into Paris. I believe they leave every six to 12 minutes. Um, and they run between, I think, 5 a.m. and midnight. This is an airport. Everybody's got some luggage. Don't feel like you're inconveniencing people. If you have luggage also, try to get on the, the RER train. Sit down, put your luggage, try and get it out of the way. It's gonna take you 35 minutes from Charles de Gaulle down to where we're going, Notre Dame, the Saint Michel stop. And um, just sit back, relax, and watch the world go by and uh, the outskirts of Paris, and you'll eventually see the Eiffel Tower and everything coming into view. 
Here we are heading down the escalator. We're gonna get on the RER here. So that's what it looks like. You've got two tracks, 11 and 12. Looks like we're gonna get on track 12 here. There's an RER there waiting for us. I think they go every six to 12 or every six to 15 minutes from five in the morning until midnight. There's another one coming in on the right there if you saw that. So um, it looks like it's really well run. We're just gonna get in here. We're gonna sit down as close as we can to the door, put our luggage, get it out of the way. Here we are, we're getting off. This is the San Michel Notre Dame stop on the RER line B. You see the little sign there for Notre Dame. There's a little layout of all the stops on the RER B. We're going to head up the escalator here. We're happy, overnight uh, flight. And there we are, we just popped up in uh, Paris, right up the Seine River there. We're gonna see Notre Dame. We're gonna have a little bite to eat right there at that restaurant before we head to our, uh, our hotel. One of the most popular ways to get from the airport to the city center is to use the Rossi bus. I have a slide here, I have circled in red the Rossi bus. The Rossi bus will take you right into Paris and drop you off at the Opera stop. Now the journey length will take approximately 60 minutes depending on traffic. It's going to cost 1620 euros. There are a number of stops at the airport where you can catch the bus. You can catch it at Terminal 1, Terminal 3, Terminal 2 A and C, Terminal D, and Terminal 2 E and F. I'm going to go for a walk at the end and I'm going to take you to the Terminal 3 Rossi bus station and just show you around there where you can catch the bus. The Rossi stops at Paris Opera at the corner of Rue Scribe and Rue Orbert. The frequency from Charles de Gaulle to Paris downtown, the opera stop, from 6 a.m. to 8.45 p.m., it leaves every 15 minutes. From 8.45 p.m. to just after midnight, 30 minutes after midnight, it leaves every 20 minutes. Here is a little bit more information. The most popular Paris airport shuttle is the Rossi bus. Rossi bus is the RATP bus linking Rossi Charles de Gaulle to Opera in the Paris city center. The bus runs on a daily basis, including Sundays and public holidays from 6 a.m. to 30 minutes after midnight with a 15 to 20 minute itinerary. The journey from Paris airport to Opera lasts about 60 minutes depending on the traffic conditions. Below here, I have the places where you can catch the bus at the airport, I am going to walk around the last option, the Rossi Pole bus station from Terminal 3. I'm going to show you around there. Another tip, Rossi bus luggage storage space is limited and the bus often gets crowded. Here is a little picture of the Rossi bus shuttle schedule and route for those visual learners. It seems like the Rossi bus shuttle provides a direct link between Paris to Paris Opera Stop in 60 minutes from Charles de Gaulle Airport, and it goes every 15 to 20 minutes. Now here's another slide. We have the bus 350 and bus 351. I'm just gonna read to you about these two other bus options, the local RATP buses at Charles de Gaulle Airport. Now the local bus 350 handles routes between Charles de Gaulle Airport and Port de la Chapelle. Running daily, even on holidays, the bus leaves from the airport from 6.05 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. with a 15 to 30 minute frequency, making a lot of intermediate changes. Thus, its journey lasts about 70 minutes. Please note that the bus has no designated luggage areas. The other bus, the local bus 351, departs from Charles de Gaulle Airport from 7 a.m. to 9.37 p.m. every 15 to 30 minutes and reaches Paris Nation, its terminus, in about 80 minutes. Unfortunately, those buses do not have adequate storage space and stop at various in-between destinations, hence raising the total journey time. Now here is a slide showing you the night buses. Passengers arriving late at night at Charles de Gaulle Airport can take the night buses linking Paris Airport to Gare de l'Est and the northern city suburbs. The night bus 140 calls on the airport from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. on an hourly basis and reaches its final stop at Gare de l'Est in about 100 minutes. N143 makes an approximately 60 minute journey from Charles de Gaulle Airport to Gare de l'Est from midnight to 4.30 a.m. with available routes every 30 minutes. 
The night buses stop at Rosie Pole bus station and I'm going to take you there and walk you around the TGV station and near exit 8 of Terminal 1. Here is a slide. I have circled the Rossi Pole bus station. Uh, the bus is located uh, around Terminal 3, the Rossi Pole station. Passengers using Terminal 1 and 2 should take the Charles de Gaulle VAL shuttle train. And you can see that on the map there. It's basically a shuttle train that takes you from Terminal 1 or Terminal 2. Now, if you're coming out of Terminal 3 like I am, it's just a few minutes walk. And I'm going to take you on that walk from Terminal 3 right to the Rossi Pole bus station and show you around. Here is a slide that talks about the bus and coach options from the Charles de Gaulle Airport. We have talked about the Rossi bus. It goes from the airport down to the Paris Opera stop. It takes approximately 60 minutes and the up-to-date price that I have right now is 1620 euros. Now the other option is the Disneyland Magical Shuttle. It goes from the airport to Disneyland Paris. It takes approximately 45 minutes and it costs 23 euros. The other option is this Park Asterix Shuttle. It goes from the airport to Park Asterix. It takes about 20 minutes and costs 9 euros. Information about Disneyland Paris. There is a slide. Where do you think the Magic Shuttle would lead you? To Disneyland, of course. The bus calls at Terminal 2E and F from 9 a.m. to 6.45 p.m. with a 30 to 90 minute route and stops at many Disneyland hotels on the way. The ticket price for the 60 minute bus ride is 23 euros, roughly $23 for adult passengers and $10 or 10 euros for children between two and 12. Toddlers and babies zero to two years old are free. Now we've got the Park Asterix shuttle bus. The 20 minute distance from Charles de Gaulle Airport to Park Asterix is covered by the Park Asterix shuttle, leaving Charles de Gaulle T1 every half an hour and heading to the entertainment park from 9 a.m. until one hour after the park's closure time. The shuttle only operates when Park Asterix is open. Tickets can be bought by the park's ticket desk located in T1 only via bank cards and cost 10 euros or $10 for adults and 9 euros or $9 for children between 3 and 11, whereas they are free for children under the age of 3. One last piece of information before I go for a walk at the Rosie Pool bus station. Now you might be wanting a bus that's not going on to Paris, but it's going a long distance and it's going somewhere else in Europe or France. Now, if your destination is outside Paris uh, and you need to reach another French city or a foreign location outside of France, long distance coaches such as Flexbus, Blah Blah Car Bus, etc., offer their services at Rossi Airport, departing from the Rossi Pole bus station, which lies between Airport Charles de Gaulle 1 and Terminal 3 station. I'm going to start my walk there and I'm going to show you around the Rossi Pole bus station. We're going to go for a walk now towards the Rossi Pool bus station. Just going to give you a little bit of background information. You are going to see where the buses come and where they have their little stops on the right here. And a number of buses are going to be coming in and out during this walk. We're going to walk for about five minutes just for you to get familiar with the surroundings so that when you get to the spot, you know and you're familiar with what it looks like. We're going to take you to the bus station ticket office and buy a ticket. And uh, so, uh, give you some context, behind us is Terminal 3. We have just gotten off a flight. We flew in from Toronto, Canada. We left at 10 p.m. last night. We've arrived in Charles de Gaulle Terminal 3 this morning, roughly around 10 a.m. We've collected our baggage and we are going to walk through this little section all the way to the Rossi Pool bus ticket office. We are going to pass a number of signs. They're called Quay, Quay G, Quay F, and they're going to have the corresponding buses. They'll have a little arrow and down that quay or that corridor, that's going to tell you where those buses are going to be stopping and leaving from. In the background here, you can see the Rossi Pool Airport bus that's going into downtown Paris. You can see it off to the right here, just waiting for it to go next. There's a bus that's just gone by and we keep seeing this name Rossi Pool or Rossi or Rossi. Uh, it's pronounced a few different ways, but people keep saying, why is it called Rossi or Rossi? 
And uh, I'll just give you the background information. Construction of the airport, originally known as Paris Nord Airport, Paris North, began in 1964. The name would soon change to match the nearby town of Rasse. And again, after opening to Charles de Gaulle after the former president who died in 1970. So the Charles de Gaulle Airport is in the town kind of of Rasse. We see the Rasse bus sitting there, which is going to take you right down to downtown Paris. This is probably the most popular bus going from the airport to downtown Paris. We see here Quay E, and we see the sign for it. It says Rasse bus, Paris Opera. And we're just going to watch this bus kind of just take off. It is a double bus. It's usually packed. We also see the sign here for bus 351 and 350. We've kind of done some slides on that already. And we've got the night bus 140 also in this quay or this corridor. So Quay E, if you're looking for the Rasse bus, it's in Quay E. You've also got the other two buses that are going downtown Paris and the night bus all in Quay E. So we'll look at the sign here. Terminal 3, as I said, is behind us. We've walked probably about three to 400 meters from Terminal 3 to get to this point. Now I just show you this Quay E. All the main buses are leaving from this corridor, this area right here. If you're watching this video and you're getting on a bus to Paris, you will be catching a bus right in this Quay E, this corridor right here. The Rossi bus, the 350, the 351, the night bus, they're all along here. So just look at it. That's what you're going to see when you come to this Rossi bus station. Um, and that's what, like I said, I just want you to be familiar with what it looks like. We're going to continue on to Terminal 1 and 2 and we're going to kind of veer right and go around a corner um, without going into one of these terminals here and I'm going to show you where the Rossi Pool bus station is. We're just going to go in, we're going to buy our ticket, and we're going to come back out uh, eventually and we're going to get on our Rossi bus uh, down into Paris. Now there are a number of airport hotels here, the Ibis there, we will be staying there in two months, the night before we get on our plane to go home. So, uh, and they're pretty reasonable. I would say if you're going to book one of these uh, airport hotels, do it as soon as possible. I have noticed a fluctuation between the closer you get to the day you want to stay there, the more expensive they are. So one piece of advice is if you're booking your airport hotel, get it as soon as possible. First of all, you get your pick. You get which one you want to get into. You think about the proximity to what terminal. Um, and because we're going out of Terminal 3 again, we're going to be staying at the IBIS. It's going to be super easy for us to just kind of come in, get up, wake up in the morning, and then head to the terminal. Uh, so number one, you get your pick. They're not all going to be sold out. And number two, you could probably get a better price. We're going to continue our walk towards the bus station over there and show you where to get the tickets. So as we round the corner, up ahead you can see where it says Rossi Pool Bus. Information, tickets, there is the building where you're going to buy your tickets in the Paris city center. It's not a huge building, but just so you know, I just want to make sure you're familiar with it. Some people like to walk through these things. This is a regular, like I said, I think it's maybe about 11, 12 o'clock. It's pretty mellow around here. It's not like it's really buzzing. Terminal 3 is one of the smaller terminals. Terminal 2 is huge. It's got a number of terminals within Terminal 2, A, B, C, I think almost up to F or G. So Terminal 3 is one of the smaller ones that we've come out of. It usually deals with kind of budget airlines and uh, international. So. We uh, have come out of there. It has been seamless. It's been very good and uh, luggage was there quickly. We've been able to walk right out here. So we're going to enter the bus station here. It's 10 after 12, another beautiful day in Paris. If you have any questions I haven't answered, pop in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm going to say au revoir from Paris and as I normally say, ciao for now.